Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn about how to send a photo using Telegram bot API and we are going to send a photo here on this group. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create or I'm going to add one more cell and for that we can just click here on plus code and then if you want to reshuffle it, for example, if you want to, if you want this code to be moving down, in that case, you can click here on down arrow and this code or this cell is going to be moved down. Now I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it here and then what we are going to do here is uh, one thing is you see here we have send message now if we go to telegram api documentation it says if you want to send a photo you need to use send photo so for example i'm just going to change it uh, change this endpoint i'm going to put send photo here and let's go to documentation again it says you need to have chat id so we already know about chat id and we don't really need to go into more detail about this and the second thing it says is photo so in photo we need to give either the input file name or we need to give any http url so what it means is we can just give any image url and then telegram is going to auto download that image and going to send over the uh, to the group so what we are going to do here is we are going to uh, change this text to photo and then here we are going to give one url now notice one thing uh, since we have just made some changes in the code so i'm going to remove it for now If you don't know about unsplash unsplash is basically a free collection of images which is which you can use so here i'm gonna go to unsplash if you want to search for an image to download you can search for that image by typing that keyword in this case let's say i want to download any image related to travel so i'm gonna go to travel and here you can see uh, this is the you know download click link but we don't really want to download this image here on our computer what we rather want is i'm going to right click here we want to get this link so i'm going to say copy link address and then we want to go to our code and in the photo we want to paste this url so here you can see we have pasted the url now url is a string so it needs to be coded so here i'm going to quote this as well so make sure it is in double quotes so everything looks fine until now let's go again to the documentation and see what next so here you see we can also give caption so by caption what we mean is we can send the image and with the image there is going to be some caption written as well okay so we'll be using that later on first let's try to send this one and see if it works and then we are going to use caption again now i'm going to execute it by running here here. so just click here and you can see here now uh, in the group it has already sent the image and you can see how fast this is so as soon we, as we clicked here we already got the image here now i'm gonna add caption here so you can see how it looks like i'm just gonna write caption and i'm going to write here is a travel photo for you okay and then we are going to run it again so i'm just gonna run it and this time we should be able to see the uh, photo okay so here you see i made a mistake i had to put comma here as well so if you want to add more para, uh, more uh, key value pair you have to separate it by comma so i'm gonna put comma rerun it and this time it should be okay so you can see this time we have received the photo again but this time we have also received the caption which looks like this so here you can see this is the caption and this is how you send the photo now what if i want to change this code again and i want to create a kind of you know for loop and in that for loop we want to enter multiple code okay so let's see how that is going to work so in this case uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy paste everything here and then uh, now in base url okay so here we don't need to make any changes i'm going to say urls and in urls we are going to create a list and here i'm going to give list of all the urls okay so for example uh, let's say these are all the pictures which we can download so i'm going to copy this url and then i'm going to put this uh, url link here and then I'm going to do the same for other URL. So basically what I mean is that you should be able to uh, have a collection of all the URLs which you want to send and then you should be able to send it. So for example, in this case, let's see, these are all the uh, three links which I wanted to send and just make sure this is in proper format. So you need to use double quotes and comma and for last one, you don't need to use comma only for the first one, second one, up until the last point, you need to separate by comma, but for the last value, you don't need to put comma in there. Okay. So this is fine. This is the URL. Now what we want to do here is we are, we want to replace this photo. We want to change it to URL. Okay. And here we are going to create a for loop again. So I'm going to say for URL in URLs and we need to move everything towards the right. And here I'm going to say time dot sleep i want to sleep for 10 seconds before sending an image and 
caption is fine i just want to keep the same caption this should be perfectly fine now we are going to run it and let's see how everything works this time so now it is running it is probably going to wait for 10 seconds before sending a photo and then it is going to wait for another 10 seconds it is going to send next photo and then it is going to send next photo again so you can see we have already received our first photo and it says uh, the caption which we have written here and this is the first photo which we have received now it is going to wait for another 10 seconds and this is going to send us a next photo and then next photo and so on now if you don't want this url to be static you can change this you know uh, this piece of code as well so it automatically goes to unsplash and pulls a new url and then it you know sends that url in a in this code okay so we can do all those sort of things but this is how you send a photo using telegram bot api so thank you so much for watching this lesson see you again in the next lesson